when you take a lamp like this where the, the chips weren't skimped on because you see it has really good light output um, and the thermal management system seems to be good, um, but when you start to investigate the actual performance of the lamp and you start to take it down in the dimmer, as I'm sliding this dimmer down, this light level is not dropping really anywhere near noticeably. And as I start to get down, you start to see the drop, it cuts off. And that's because the driver in that lamp is not geared to handle um, bringing current and voltage in at lower levels to the chip, enough to power it at low levels um, and, and not have it cut off. When you take, for instance, the Bulbright lamp, once again, your light output is good and your, your, your thermal management system is here. Um, but as I slide my dimmer down, immediately you see there's a noticeable drop in your light output. And as I start to get to the lower end of the spectrum, my lamp is staying lit. Um, and that's because we use a very good driver system in our lamp that actually as the voltage is lowered in the dimmer, it's pulling enough current through the lamp to keep it lit and sustained without flickering or turning off. So I'm getting a full range of dimmability on mine, um, whereas on a lamp, uh, a Brand X version is probably not going to. Uh, when you're dealing with LEDs now, you're, you're, it's no different than buying electronics for your home or buying a car. Um, you're going to get what you pay for with LED products, and, and there may be subtle things that you don't see from the outside uh, that will make difference in both performance and uh, in, in even safety features sometimes in these lamps. Um, so like I said, when you're, when you're looking at it from an educational standpoint, if you're out there just looking for the lowest priced LED, chances are, even if they all look the same from an outside structure, you will get what you pay for in the performance over the long haul of the lamp.